In this video we're going to be talking about uh, Easy Cut Studio and the zooming function as well as the panning function uh, within the software. So uh, the zoom tool is right here. It looks like a little magnifying glass with a plus sign on it. If you do click it, uh, you're presented with a little magnifying glass tool. Uh, you could left click, hold, drag around the object if that's what you want to do. But uh, more importantly, you have a couple options up here in your toolbar. Uh, you have the zoom in, zoom out. Uh, you also have a zoom to page. So if I click on this, it's going to go all the way back to the entire page to be viewed within my window. Now this button right here is zoom to selection. So if I select this object first, and then go to the zoom tool and click on this, you're going to see that we are presented right there uh, in the middle of the screen. It's called Zoom to Selection. So that comes out handy as well. Now something else to note, uh, we do have uh, the slider bar here so you can increase the percentage of the zoom. Uh, also down at the bottom you have options as well as far as presets go, uh, whether that be fit to window or 500%. So that's how you zoom. Now say for example we're, we're zooming in right here and you need to pan up without moving your mouse over here. If you hold the space bar down you'll notice that a little hand appears. If you click hold drag you can go ahead and pan how you want. Or you can click on this button right here which is the same thing which is the pan hand and do absolutely the same thing. And if you needed to go back to the zoom, you can either select the zoom, uh, the magnifying glass here, or you can hit the Z button, the Z button on your keyboard, and it does bring up the zoom controls. So that is panning and zooming in Easy Cut Studio.